Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create an isometric grid using GIMP. This is GIMP version 2.10.8 which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course before we get into that I want to direct you guys over to my website at DaviesMediaDesign.com as always, we have tons of GIMP video and text tutorials on here, so definitely check that out. You can also enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And you can support our channel and help us grow by becoming a patron on Patreon. And I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. An isometric grid is a little bit different than a regular grid in that it adds a little bit of an element of perspective to the grid, so it allows you to create things like 3D objects, and it allows you to make those 3D objects all have the same perspective very easily, so it makes working with 3D a lot easier, especially in something like GIMP. And with these isometric grids, you can create cool 3D shapes such as this one, and luckily this is a pretty easy technique to do within GIMP. So I'm going to start by creating a new image. I'll come over here to File New. And I'm going to start with 1920 by 1080 and click OK, but I'm going to scale this image up pretty significantly. Let me start first by using my bucket fill tool and making sure this is a white background. All right, so we have our image here with the white background, and I'm going to start by scaling this up. So I'm going to go to Image, Scale Image, and I'm going to come over here and change this to Percent, and I'm going to scale this up by 250, so 250% and click Scale. It's going to ask me to confirm this, and I'll just hit Scale again. This won't be the final size of our image, so it's okay that it's pretty large right now. So here is our image, and you can see the new dimensions up top. So next we need to start creating the lines for the grid. So I'm going to come over here and create a new layer, and I'll name this one Grid. Make sure the fill width is set to Transparency and click OK. And now we'll come up here to Filters, Render, Pattern, and Grid. And I'm going to come over here and change the color to something we could see. So here is a normal grid. And though this is great, this is not what we need. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and adjust the width of my grid. And you guys can adjust this to whatever you want it to be. So in this case, I'll just go with 20 for now. And I'm going to turn the line width and height down to 1, just to make the grid nice and thin here. And now what I need to do is I need to make the height a very large number because I don't want there to be cross sections on the grid. I don't want there to be vertical and horizontal lines. I just want there to be vertical lines. So I'm actually going to come over here and uncheck this chain link icon or unlink it. And I'm going to turn the height way up. And you'll see that as I do that, there's less and less lines here going horizontally. And I actually found that if I created something like 2000, that usually got rid of all the lines. And actually maybe it was a little bit more, 4000. Yeah, so there we go. So now we only have the vertical lines here. That's exactly what we want. So make sure you're on your grid layer and click OK. Now we have vertical lines for our grid, but we need lines that are going at an angle. That way we can start to create a more perspective grid for the isometric grid. So I'll come over here and duplicate my grid layer by hitting the duplicate icon. Now we have a grid copy and I'll come over and grab my rotate tool. And then I'll click on this layer. This should be the grid copy layer. I'm going to change the angle here to 60 and hit the tab key. And so now that's going to rotate our grid by 60 degrees and I'll hit rotate. So if I hold control and zoom in, you can see we're starting to get almost like these diamond shapes. So now I'll duplicate that layer again. So I'm duplicating the copy layer this time and I'll come over here and grab my flip tool and make sure that my direction is set to horizontal and then just click once and that will flip that copy layer. And if I zoom in, now you'll see we have some shapes in here, and these are actually equilateral triangles, and that's something that is indicative of isometric grids. And if we hide this bottom grid layer here, you can see now we have a perspective grid. So we can use this perspective grids to draw things at an angle, and when we draw things at an angle, we can then add a little bit of depth to that, and that depth is what is going to give our object some 3D elements. So hold control and zoom out now, and I'm going to unhide that grid layer. So the issue now is that we have all this excess area that doesn't need to be inside of our grid. This isn't going to really help us at all. So I'm going to grab my crop tool and I'm going to click the fixed aspect ratio option and type 1920 colon 1080. And that way when we draw this crop, it's going to maintain the HD aspect ratio here. That's just a really common aspect ratio for compositions to have. Now I'm going to click and drag my crop tool. I'm going to come over here and make sure the size is 1920, hit the tab key, and that'll shrink that down to 1080. 
But the issue now is that I want this to be aligned to the exact center of my image, but right now we can't tell. So let's actually go to image, guides, new guide by percent, and we'll start with vertical and click OK. And then we'll go to image, guides, new guide by percent, change this to horizontal, click OK. So now we can see the center of our image and I can click and drag my crop and it should snap to the guides. If not, just go to view, snap to guides. And once you're ready, just click inside the crop and that'll crop that out. Hold control and zoom in. And now we have a nice isometric grid here. I just want to organize this a bit. So I'm going to put everything into the same layer group. So I'll come over here and click to create a new layer group. And I'll just name this ISO grid for short. And now I can click and drag all of these elements into the ISO grid layer. Now I just want to save this as an XEF file. So I'll come over here to file, save. And I'm just going to name this isometric grid. And you can name it based on the dimensions. I've already done that. So I'm just going to name this HD for now and click save. And now you have an isometric grid. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. You can visit my website at DaviesMediaDesign.com. You can enroll in my best-selling photo editing course on Udemy. And you can support our channel and help us grow by becoming a patron on Patreon. And I'll include a link to that as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.